Hey everybody, this is Matt Gold. Uh, just got something in the mail and I wanted to take a quick video to share it with you all. Um, if you've been following our thread, uh, you know what you are looking at. This is the uh, first sample pulled from the mold uh, of the Saki Bomb Garage Euro Washer Methanol Tank for the uh, third gen FD3S Mazda RX-7. Um, most of you probably already know what this is, but in case you don't, uh, this started life as the OEM rear uh, washer fluid tank on select European and Canadian model cars. Um, super hard piece to find, uh, but we found one. We 3D scanned it. We modified it in CAD and basically put it through its paces on 3D prints, testing fitments, and you know CFD testing, you name it, and came up with this pretty cool product. Um, so uh, a couple of differences that this has versus the uh, OEM tank. Um, a, it's a one-piece design instead of a kind of a leak pro and two-piece design. Um, B, uh, we increased capacity to about two gallons. Uh, C, we added a sump which will uh, prevent uh, fuel slosh under uh, kind of hard driving conditions and low fluid levels. Um, we added bosses that you could tap for a level sensor like this, nozzles like this, or we have a couple extra locations if you want. Um, this still maintains OEM fitment. It fits behind the plastic panels uh, in the hatch area. Um, it accepts this cool uh, Saki Bomb garage cap that we include. Um, or the uh, OEM washer uh, cap that uh, you may or may not have in your car uh, already. Um, sorry, I'm doing this with one hand, but it really does fit. Um, and yeah, this is a, a totally cool uh, piece uh, and uh, super happy with how it turned out. Um, one thing I have to say is that you're looking at this in black. Um, this is just a prototype. Uh, this is just a sample. The uh, uh, production piece will be kind of a white slash opaque color. Um, but I will say this. It is beastly. It is a uh, uh, thick walled tank. Um, I'll tell you, uh, just thinking ahead on it, I was concerned about how we're going to package this thing to keep it from getting damaged in transit. Not going to happen. This thing, uh, you could really... Uh, Beat someone to death with it if you were put in that situation. Um, anyways, wanted to go over a few specifics, let you guys know what to expect, what not to expect, give you the rundown on the good, the bad, the ugly, and uh, let you know what our time frame is looking like for delivery. So first of all, this would not already be drilled, uh, generally speaking, uh, uh, when you order your tank. Uh, we did this just to fit the grommet, but you would have a boss there um, along with a couple other places. Uh, that you would drill. Um, the grommet, along with the conductive sensor, would be probably part of the Saki Bomb Garage kit, but not necessarily the tank. Um, however, all this stuff should be available as components. Um, you can see there's a cool little pigtail as well. Um, so that would be uh, your fluid level sensor. Um, one comment about this fluid level sensor. Um, we're actually going to move it on the uh, production version. We're just going to move it down a little bit further so it clears the interior panels a little bit better. Um, we're also going to add a pickup right here because we discovered that we have the room for it and that might be ideal. Um, and we're also going to do something cool. We're going to add a little divot right in the middle of each uh, boss that will act as kind of a drill guide so you kinda, you'll be able to center that drill bit really well. Um, one change you might notice, this finish, or I'm sorry, this uh, sump went from kind of a few hard 90 degrees in the latest uh, 3D print and CAD file to this more rounded design. Uh, the factory recommended that um, for uh, uh, the purpose of blow molding. Sometimes those 90s are hard to fill in, um, so that's one thing. Um, we're also going to add kind of a sandblast finish to this whole thing. We're going to leave the uh, logos kind of as is and then add a sandblast 
uh, to all this, which will give it a nice kind of texture, similar to what the uh, OEM cap has, where you have the, you know, the texture and then the uh, washer fluid font uh, a bit smoother. Um, one of the things that was kind of ugly about the tank is that right there. Um, it doesn't cause any issues with sealing or anything, and it's kind of just a symptom of blow molding. But we did uh, talk to the factory about trying to get that uh, machined out after the fact. Um, as you can see, we uh, are using the OEM style mounts. We had gone through the entire uh, McMaster car catalog and couldn't find like a good alternative. So what we actually did was just have a rubber factory remake those uh, OEM mounts. So those will be included with every tank um, along with hardware um, so you can install it. Um, I'll tell you this, getting these two bolts in, pretty darn easy. Getting this third one in, a little bit of a bear. What I've actually been doing is preloading this bolt. You know, you kind of have to bend that up a little bit to fit it in there. I uh, can't do it with one hand right now. Um, but uh, it takes, it's, it's going to be the biggest pain uh, of the install is getting that one bolt in. Uh, although we are talking about maybe doing a stud instead, that actually might work. Um, but... All in all, really, really happy with how this tank turned out. Um, as of now, there should be another, the, the new mold is done with the relocated um, uh, bosses um, and the uh, sandblast finish. Um, we should be having a white slash opaque one done so we could approve the actual material that's being used. And as long as everything's good, we'll green light this thing and have uh, full-on production rolling in the next couple weeks. Um, that'll probably push the delivery date to closer to the new year. But what I could do is keep you guys posted and let you know when the uh, new one comes. And I know that there's also going to be an update on the install brackets um, for the pump and the controller and all that good stuff. So watch for that. Um, anyways, if you have comments, if you have questions, always feel free to ask, um, and we'll go from there. Hope everything's well. Thank you. Take care.